Hey guys, in this video I'll be comparing arguably the two most aesthetic open competitors of the 21st century, the late Sean Roden and Andrew Jacked. I'll be using Sean's 2013 Arnold Europe physique and Andrew's 2024 Texas Pro version since I feel like both are a good matchup for each other. The angles, lighting, and quality of the videos are different for each and might influence your opinion. However, I have used other images and sources to help objectively judge this comparison, in addition to what you see on screen. Who do you think is the more objectively genetically gifted bodybuilder out of the two, and who do you have winning this comparison? Let me know in the comments down below, and let's break down the poses. The front double bicep is a knockout shot for these two against almost anyone ever since their genetic shape and flow are unmatched. Both have bubbly full arms, tight and defined midsections, and flared cut quads, however, unfortunately for Sean, not only is the lighting rather dark for this version, but he also isn't flexing the quads, which does leave out necessary details. Looking at any other pictures or poses will show you that he was extremely conditioned in this area, however, as it is, Andrew presents visibly deeper, more defined separation in the legs. His outer sweep might not be as impressive, however the details do steal the show. Upstairs is close between the two with Sean's unbelievably small waist drawing my attention with all those intricate details whereas Andrew's bulbous lats and very massive arms really stand out as well. While it may come down to preference, there's no doubt that Andrew is better in the lats, arms, and the structure, having tons of width and a superior X-frame. I like Sean a lot, however the lighting isn't doing him any justice, and his lack of flexion in the quads seals his fate. Definitely a win for Andrew, since this version might just possess the most aesthetic front double that we've seen in recent times. The front lat spread showcases Sean's quads in a much better light, as you can now see he has those cuts all throughout the legs. With all these details, I'd easily give him the edge in the lower body over Andrew, since it's pretty clear that he has a superior outer quad sweep, and better insertions as well. That said, these improvements are not enough to overpower Andrew's incredible upper body, which in my opinion smokes Sean's. Andrew is too wide across the shoulders, incredibly dense in the chest and arms, and has far better lat insertions and lat development, and I even prefer his midsection for the taper and the finer details. Now, Sean is definitely one of the best in the 21st century when it comes to the front lat spread, However, he's not nearly as wide, not as bubbly, and lacks that wow factor in this specific version. All in all, Andrew beats Sean by a larger margin upstairs than that of the margin Sean wins the lower half, so I would give this pose to Andrew. The side chest is an easy win for Sean, mainly due to the conditioning disparity between the two. Just take a look at the glute and side leg detail and tell me that Andrew doesn't look two or three weeks out compared to Sean. Like I said earlier, the lighting doesn't do Sean any justice when it comes to the details, since the lighting here even made Phil Heath look a bit underwhelming in conditioning, so keep that in mind. That said, Andrew does look comparably conditioned if not more defined in certain areas like the chest, arm, and delt, which is only aided by the near-perfect lighting at the Texas Pro. Even if the conditioning disparity isn't as large as it should be upstairs, the difference in posing execution really shuts the door. Sean poses to perfection in this shot, maximizing the thickness of his side leg, and poses his upper body ideally. On the other hand, Andrew's arm and side leg aren't optimized in this pose to maximize their width and thickness, and his midsection isn't as flush and tucked in. Overall, Sean looks more polished and refined in every aspect, whereas Andrew isn't where he should be in this pose. The rear double is interesting because there's a clear divide between who is winning what. Andrew handily takes the upper body, hands down, since his back is twice as wide and thick, his arms have a bubblier, fuller look, and he has a wider frame. Sean wins the lower body, since his glutes and hamstrings are far more separated, and his calves are pretty decent as well. All those things considered, I'd comfortably say that Andrew would have the upper hand in this pose. This is because he's convincingly winning in the upper body against Sean, while he doesn't get demolished in the legs. He could use more development in the hamstrings and additional separation in the glutes, however I think that his conditioning and mass are good enough to win. Sean is just a bit too lackluster in the back to really do damage in the overall pose, especially in the width of the lats, however his flow and symmetry are great nonetheless. 
The rear lat spread is a much closer pose for these two since the arms are out of the equation. Sean once again wins the lower body, but not in a dominant fashion. However, the backs are a bit of a toss-up. Sean is clearly thinner skinned in the back, having razor sharp conditioning and zero signs of water in that back. Look at how pronounced his Christmas tree and traps are, which are really just popping with definition. Andrew does have more width in the lats, which was expected considering how impressive his lats were in the frontal poses. However, he really isn't dominating in thickness anywhere else. Sure, he's wide, however, Sean has that quality separation and a definition that really draw my attention, especially downstairs. Who do you guys prefer in this shot? Because I personally would go with Sean for that dry, finely separated condition. However, the fuller, bigger Andrew is also just as impressive in my opinion. The side tricep is a hard pose to judge because Andrew objectively brings a fuller, more muscular physique in this shot, while Sean is clearly posing better and has sharper condition. To elaborate more, I think that Andrew beats Sean in areas like the arm, especially the tricep, the delts, and the chest, but really poses horribly. He doesn't completely flex his midsection to lock out those details. His arm is tilted backwards, which looks very odd, and his side leg isn't bent, which detracts from the possible size and detail. Now, Sean is pretty lackluster in this pose as well. However, he does make the most out of what he has, bringing a perfectly presented midsection, good delt and chest, and a far, far better side leg in both execution of the posing and the details. I really can't get over the missing tricep and flatter look though, so take your pick. Now this frontal tricep variation is what I'm going to look at to determine a winner in this pose, and I would say that both look significantly better due to their fronts being more impressive than their sides. Sean's tricep isn't as much of an eyesore as it was, however it is still noticeably bad. I do prefer his more open stance and fully strided quad, however Andrew's fullness and aesthetics are off the charts. Overall, I prefer Andrew's total package since he's clearly better in the individual muscles like the tricep and has that fullness that Sean lacks. However, in the mandatory side variation, Sean is objectively more complete due to his posing and conditioning advantages. Neither are really the most impressive in that variation though. However, I think the judges might give it to Sean since Andrew's posing is god awful. The ab and thigh is a really good pose for these two and I honestly forgot just how good Sean was in this pose. I've said many times that Andrew has the best ab and thigh pose in its entirety, however Sean might just, you know, make me take that statement back. He doesn't really have any distension or protrusion that kind of plagued him later on, his waist and v-taper have way more freak factor and aesthetics, and his quads have more impressive sweep and separation, especially in the hip flexors. Now, Andrew is undeniably better in the abs and overall width upstairs. However, Sean's V-taper is really something else, and his quads are so ripped and swept. I could see the argument for either in this pose though. However, in my opinion, Sean's razor sharp conditioning, full massive quads, and absolutely teeny tiny waist and symmetrical abs are simply incredible and would get the win. The last pose, the most muscular, might be an easy win for Andrew in my opinion. This is because his arms, delts, and chest are so full and conditioned and bubbly, and his structure is wider shoulder to shoulder. That said, Sean appears more dense due to his limbs being a bit smaller, and his delts, chest, and legs are extremely thick and nicely conditioned. Like in other poses, the lighting really drowns out any fine details for Sean, which is really unfortunate since his arms look rather impressive even without the crazy shreds like on Andrew. As much as I like Sean's silhouette and shape though, there is no denying that Andrew has a fuller, freakier look compared to Sean, even with his somewhat stringy forearms and oh, you know, overall limbs, I would say as well. Now, anyways, let me know in the comments down below who you had winning this comparison and who you prefer in general. If you enjoyed, a like and sub would be awesome, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.